Hello everybody, I'm going to share my thoughts today about giving up the desire. Buddhist argument that desire is cause of suffering and the end of desire is the end of suffering caught my attention. If you will think about it, it's easy to explain that as a statement that all suffering caused by desires. It all makes perfect sense. Using an example and about expensive car, you have a great desire for an expensive car, say Ferrari, you don't have money for it. So it will make you unhappy, it will make you suffer and actually can cause health problems based on, on the stress, uh, being not able to satisfy your desire about that car. So as Buddha says, you better give up on your desire and end your suffering, right? Well, uh, why we don't think about that desire as a great motivation for you? You sit in thinking, how can I get a money for it? Maybe ask to my employer. So to be able to do that, you will decide to be more proactive. You will show initiative at work. Uh, you, uh, you may attend the professional courses uh, to improve your knowledge. In this case, your desire will bring a better outcome as uh, self-development. Uh, a definition of desire as a strong feeling of wanting to have something or vision for something to happen uh, make me think of difference between needs, wants and desires. A long time ago, I read a book uh, and I learned about muscle stringer, theory of human motivation. I don't know all you can see here, uh, but this is a triangle over here and I will try to explain for you very quick. With this stringer, muscle uh, of formulation, a progression from basic to complex need. Uh, in this pyramid, it's easy to explain my understanding of that too. Uh, needs are something basic, something absolutely necessary. I would say mandatory needs. Uh, you need the oxygen, food, water, rest. Something that you need to survive. Needs you... You have to have to survive. Then come secondary needs. Feeling for something you like about, but you, um, but not necessarily have to have to survive. Uh, and after that comes next desires. It's the next level of an extreme wish. The problem is uh, that occurs with wants and desires, they can be easily transformed to greed. Uh, but greed is never satisfied. Wants and desire can be uh, even positive or negative, but greed most likely definitely destroy the uh, state of your mind. So what I think that... Uh, don't give up on your desires and make them work positively for you. I would love to finish with what Buddha said in the quote number 250. Self-satisfaction alone cannot determine if a desire action is positive or negative. The deformation between a positive or negative desire uh, or action is not whether it gives you an immediate feeling of satisfaction. Thank you.